Today's theme is organizing. And I want to start off by offering the idea that organizing doesn't only belong to seasoned activists. Community organizing can look like many things, whether it's neighbors who come together to protect their rights as tenants, local mommies come together online to support one another during this difficult mothering journey, or passionate friends who come together to open and run an independent bookstore. These are all ways our community has been coming together before we began sheltering in place to support one another and to be strong. I am heartened by some of the new grassroots initiatives that Uptown innovators like Ai Chen, who is dedicating her time and talents to making beautifully constructed masks for neighbors, including the vulnerable community of Isabela Geriatric Center. Ivy's GoFundMe campaign has raised more than $1,000 to support Uplift NYC's food delivery efforts. Then there's School in Square, one of our incredible partner schools at PTP, who is living into their mission to engage, educate, and empower adolescents in Washington Heights to respond mindfully and creatively to life's opportunities and challenges. Twice a month, thanks to Cinta Carron and the entire team at S2, they're bringing together staff, parents, and community partners to host food pantries for their families in need. These days, Education is an active pursuit. These singular efforts are born out of this moment of crisis, and I hope they will spark a lasting sense of collective purpose amongst our community that will outlast the virus. But it's the relationship full, the relationships full of trust that we have built over the years that will sustain us once all of this is over and we're able to join hands again. In today's episode, we will hear from two very powerful women who continue to lead as they build upon the foundation of years of loving and organizing right here in our community. <laughs> 